Did you know the solar system isn't as peaceful as we think? For most of us, space seems calm and predictable. Planets orbiting the sun like gears in a perfect clock. A quiet place, a safe place, but that image is an illusion. The reality is far more violent. Beyond what our eyes can see, space is a chaotic arena filled with drifting rocks, icy bodies, comets, asteroids, and invisible forces pulling and pushing everything in motion. Some of these objects travel at tens of thousands of kilometers per hour, crossing orbits, colliding, and reshaping the cosmos in silence. And somehow, against all odds, Earth survived. For billions of years, our small blue world has been spinning in this dangerous cosmic sea, exposed to constant threats. Asteroids have struck, comets have rained down, planets have shifted orbits, and still, here we are. That survival wasn't guaranteed. Earth's history is written in scars. Ancient craters scattered across continents remind us that the solar system has never truly been safe. One of those impacts, around 66 million years ago, ended the age of the dinosaurs. But there were many others, extinctions, shocks, collapses, all from things falling out of the dark. If Earth has survived until now, it's partly because it's had help. A silent guardian. Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system, has acted like a cosmic shield. Its massive gravity pulls in or deflects many dangerous objects long before they ever reach us. Without Jupiter, the story of life on Earth could have ended before it even began. And it's not just Jupiter, the vast emptiness of space, the, the enormous distances between stars, has also been our protection. In the grand scale of the galaxy, our solar system is like a quiet neighborhood, tucked away from the worst cosmic storms. But even the quietest neighborhood gets visitors. And this time, the visitor isn't a rock. It's not a rogue planet. It's not something we can deflect with a rocket. What's coming is far bigger an entire star. Now here's the terrifying part. It won't even have to touch us. A star carries incredible gravitational power. Even if it passes light years away, it can disturb the delicate balance of our solar system. And we already know exactly what part of our cosmic backyard is most vulnerable. Far beyond Pluto, farther than anything we've ever visited, lies a vast frozen frontier, the Oort cloud. It's not a planet, not a belt. It's a spherical shell surrounding the entire solar system, home to trillions of icy bodies. This region is the leftover debris from the birth of the solar system, drifting quietly in the cold, dark outskirts. For the most part, it stays undisturbed. But if a star passes close enough, everything changes. Its gravitational pull can shake the Oort cloud like a snow globe. And when that happens, countless comets are knocked loose, many of them flung toward the inner solar system. Some will burn up, others will miss entirely, but some will hit. Scientists call this a comet shower. Unlike random impacts, Comet showers can last for hundreds of thousands of years. Here's the part most people don't realize. Close stellar flybys aren't rare. They happen over and over again. Astronomers estimate that a star passes close enough to disturb our solar system roughly once every 50,000 to 100,000 years. That's not a long time in cosmic terms. In fact, around 70,000 years ago, when early humans were walking the Earth, a small star system passed just 0.8 light years away. We survived that one, but the threat never disappeared. Gliese 710 won't collide with the Earth. It doesn't need to. Its gravitational footprint will ripple through the solar system like a stone thrown into a still pond. Planets could shift ever so slightly. Comets could come raining down. The sky could be filled with more fire than we've ever seen. The solar system is not a fortress. 
it's a passenger floating through a galaxy filled with wandering stars. For now, the orbits seem calm, the night sky seems peaceful, but in the vastness of space, everything moves, and one day, this visitor will arrive.